no sign of peace on the streets of Iran today. Eyewitnesses in central Tehran say gunfire was heard when riots police dispersed demonstrators who defied a ban by the Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei to protest about the disputed presidential election. Thousands of police officers blocked off Engelhub Square near Tehran University. The demonstrators had gathered in the streets near the square. And they were chanting, throwing stones, and setting rubbish bins alight. Let's bring you up to speed with the latest developments in Tehran. Eyewitnesses in the center of the capital say rise police have used tear gas against demonstrators trying to gather there for another protest about last week's election in defiance of an order by the Supreme Leader. Now, this comes as the powerful Guardian Council agreed to recount a random 10% of the votes. And the Iranian opposition leader, Mir Hossein Mosavi, has released a statement demanding that the presidential votes be annulled. This was the day the government got tough. After warnings from the Supreme Leader and from the police, the riot police and paramilitary besieges were waiting for the demonstrators in force. As opposition protesters arrived, it quickly got violent. Every time the protesters tried to gather, they were attacked with tear gas, batons and water cannon. It became a day of running battles, but the government did succeed in preventing the demonstration from gathering momentum. The pictures show clear evidence that government forces are now using live rounds. But so far, there's still some restraint. The Iranian government knows that creating martyrs will be counterproductive. No sign at today's gathering of the opposition leader, Mir Hossein Mousavi, and he did not give it his open backing. But he has sent a new letter calling for the elections to be annulled, a signal to his supporters that the fight goes on. So the confrontation over the disputed election is into a new phase. Both sides are more determined than ever. It all points to a long conflict of attrition, likely to be played out on the streets of Tehran, a chess game played with Iranian lives. John Lund, BBC News, Tehran. Well, President Obama has been speaking about the situation in Iran. He challenged Iran's government to halt what he called all violent and unjust actions 